96, I started collecting astronaut autographs in this book. Welcome to another exciting edition of Antiques Roadshow. This week, we're in Firth, Idaho. So, tell us a little bit about this piece. Well, uh, my wife, uh, Glenda, and I went down to you know, Motuco, Mexico about back in 1988. Took uh, fifth wheel down there and uh, made our way down there. And, you know, stopped a couple sites along the way and down to Mexico and picked up some turquoise on the way. And, you know, we were having, mm, talked to this little Spanish down, gal down there in Watuco and uh, she sold me this brush for almost nothing, next to nothing. What in your mind is next to nothing? I paid about nine, eight, nine pesos for it and that's the uh, Spanish currency that we use down in Mexico and uh, you know, like I said, a little Spanish gal sold it to me and, and she said she hated to let go of it been family for several decades and uh, you know I was excited to take it off her hands. Uh, tell me about the Spanish, you, you said her name is Lucia? Uh-huh. What did she tell you about this piece? Well she told me that it dated back um, down back in the uh, times of when, the, mm -hmm. when the Cortez came over and you know, mother had one of these brushes growing up, and I and I says to uh, Glenda, you know, maybe you know, maybe I'll surprise you with one Mark of these. Down one Tuco, one of them open air markets, and we was down there, and and you know, all, my best guess is, uh, you know, one of them in indigenous tribes, perhaps, uh, perhaps mm -hmm. even Aztec. Came I don't know. know. Mm -hmm. Gave brush and. She and she said she heard that uh, it was used on the uh, tour guide tour of Spanish gallon for the temples and the ruins and then in the sacrifices and and uh, this little Spanish gal you know confirmed all that. That's great. Uh, everything you just said was correct. Everything about where you found it um, down at you. Where did you find it again? Watuco. That's correct. If you found it down there, that's where it was. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's that's great. So this is crazy. When I saw you in line, I was like, poof! I mean, it was like it was like magic because I was like, this guy has got something special, and not in just the way of of him in in and of himself, you know. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this brush is definitely like you didn't you say it was like. Um, Aztec or something, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. And I know that because of the flower. That was the symbol of the Aztecs. And I don't know if you've read any history books. They probably told you that on the tour. On the tour. And what they do is this is an actual flower. Then what they do is they place this down uh, for our listening audience. That what they do is they place the flower on there and they put a resin on side. Uh, on the, they just put a resin over the top of it, which was uh, resembled uh, just. The glue of nature, uh -huh. the you know the the seam, yeah. the seal, yeah. yeah, and that's Aztecs were totally about seaming and sealing, mm -hmm. and that was I mean, if you look at the hydro hydroglyphs that you see down in the Aztec temples and all that, it's like all about seaming and sealing and flowers and resins. That's why that's explosive, and that was a sign that said to me, this is an expensive, very very special brush. Mm -hmm. What okay. really brings down the value, I notice you can confirm this for me or not. Mm -hmm. I notice there's some blues, maybe some gray hair with a little bit of glitter down in here. Had, has Glenda, I mean, you mentioned you got it for Glenda. Has she used it for? No, no, no way. No, Glenda is probably a very special person to you. And but to us, that's actually, um, she's still alive, she's still here. So this is probably going to be closer to about a little bit less than what you paid for it. Means the world to me. Uh, mm -hmm. Just out of curiosity, how much would you sell it to me for? Oh, gee, 20 bucks. I'll give you 15. Deal. Okay. <laughs>
you have any idea what this is worth or anything like that? I have absolutely no idea. Some, some prominent features about this that really, when you were standing in line, that really popped out to me were some of the leaves that uh -huh. they're called, yes. which tells me this was probably somewhere in the Northwest. Yes, it was, yes. And also the CC down here, which I think is probably Cassius Corythius. Cassius Corythius, really? And um, I mean, there's a couple ways we could find that out. We could probably mm -hmm. look on the back because sometimes on the back there's things written. Right. Um, also, the mountainous area in here looks like somewhere probably up in the Seattle region. Does uh, that ring any bell? No, I actually got this in Portland at the Lilith Fair. If this is a Cassius Corinthius, then it's probably not Ooh. worth as much as you're probably hoping it's worth. Really? Do you have any idea? Uh, I was, I, I paid like 15 bucks for it, so. Where did you get this sweater? Um, I got this uh, at Comfort Zone. That's great. Uh, let's take, let's just take a look at the back. I think it's a Cassius Corellius. Mm -hmm. And if it is, whoa, probably paid a little bit too much for it. Really? Yeah. So bucks. let's turn it around, just take a look. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not what I thought it was. It looks to me like it's probably the CC, and well, and looking on the uh, back here, it's the Claude Carpenter. I don't know if you saw that before when I you didn't. bought it. I didn't. Okay, and you thought it was Cassius? I, I just loved it. I just fell in love with it the first time I saw it. Loved it. That brings a whole nother, I don't even know wow. how to explain it. it you, it's gonna be worth a lot more than you wow. thought it was. So you paid $15 for it? I did, yeah. Well, let's take a look at some other features that might change the value just a little bit, like okay. some of these ringlets around here. This oh, is not handmade. They're beautiful. This is uh, not the original frame. This is the Kmart frame. Oh. You'll take a look. Uh, the the Claude uh, Carpenter painting series. Uh, this was a uh, this was a really popular thing in the 70s. Oh wow. Um, have you seen any of Claude's work? I haven't. Oh, Charles, this is the first time I've seen anything of his. Knowing now that it's not a Cassius, that it's a Claude, like how much would you pay for it from Terry, like if you were to see it today, like at the, um, at the fair? I thought I got a great deal on it, for one. I thought $15 was way underpriced. That's a... I mean, I, I fell in love with when, when I saw it. I was with my friend Rhonda and she picked it out for me and we loved it and we knew it'd go great in our house. It, I would say low-balling it. But do, hold on, do I need to get a chair here? Is there a chair I don't think here? you'll need one. I mean, I don't know. You're looking at without the frame, probably close to a quarter of a million to three hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand dollars? Are you serious? You know, when I talked to you in line at first, you mentioned that it doesn't matter. You, if if I told you that it was worth two million dollars, you wouldn't sell it. Yeah. Knowing now that it's worth a quarter of a million, do you plan on selling it? I mean, I I love it. I fell in love with it. Um. You know, it's sentimental to me, but um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to keep it for myself. I would probably want to make sure that it's somewhere where other people can enjoy it. So yeah, I'd probably sell it. Just, just, just for the mere me, fact of giving somebody else the opportunity of enjoying it. Just giving somebody like else the opportunity of having it. I'm, just, I can see I'm that. not a selfish person. I do the same. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, Chris, I appreciate you being on the show, and I oh, hope that. Hey, thanks, Chess. I hope that it's been everything that you dreamed. I would oh, probably put, wrap that in some bubble wrap before you leave because oh, we yeah. have some bubble wrap back For there. For sure. And just get it, keep it safe, and don't get in any accidents on the way home, okay? Okay, I won't. Hey, thanks. Okay, thanks. Thanks, bro. See okay, see ya. Not that door, the other one. Oh. You know what, Chris? Uh, ooh, come back here for a second. I yeah. just had a thought. Sure. You know, you can probably read a little bit better than I do because mm -hmm. that's cursive. Yeah. Uh, is that a Claude or a Claudette? I, you know, just thinking, there is a Claudette and a Claude in the same. Uh, we'll see. Can you see? Is that Claude or Claudette? Uh, it looks like this is Claudette. Ooh. Fans. Ooh. Um, what, is, what, are you trying to, what does that mean? Well, is it worth more? We talked a little bit about being about a quarter of a million to $300,000. I'd say you're looking at probably twenty-five to thirty dollars now. This has been another exciting edition of the Antiques Roadshow in Firth, Idaho. 